Hello friends, today I will discuss about few orthopedic implants which are commonly kept in clinical orthopedic examinations. First we will discuss about K wire or Krishna's wire. So the parts are Choka tipped both ends with a rounded shaft and variations or types of K wires are smooth and threaded K wires. And the size varies from 1 to 3.5 mm with an interval of 0.5 mm and uses it is mainly used for pediatric skeletal traction and for fixation of pediatric fractures and also for the fixation of small tubular bone fractures like metatarsal metacarpal fractures for descent of radius fractures and it is also used for Joshi's as a part of Joshi's external stabilization system. So once again about the identification features of a K-Ware, both ends of k are pointed and it is in rounded cross section. So next we will discuss about square nail or Talvaka square nail. It is a centromedullary nail and the one end of the nail is threaded for the insertion and extraction of the nail and another end is tongue shaped for a radial square nail and pointed for a ulnar square nail. And it has got a square shaped shaft which will provide some rotational stability. So the principle is three point fixation and uses for fracture both bone forearm, for fracture fibula, for fracture humerus. Disadvantages of the nail are there is less rotation stability for the nail and there is no locking mechanism. And the commonly available sizes are ranges from 1.5 to 6.5 mm diameter of various length are available. Next we will discuss about steam and pin. Steam and pin has got a trocar tip smooth rounded shaft that is the trocar tip and a quadrangular top this quadrangular top will firmly hold inside a T handle here you can see the quadrangular top so the main difference from a K wire is in K wire the both ends are pointed for a steam and pin one end is pointed and other end is quadrangular. So the sizes available for a steam and pin is varies from ranges from 3 to 6 mm and at an interval of 0.5 mm. And the main uses it is used for skeletal traction in a good quality board. And the length available ranges from 15 to 30 cm at an interval of 5 cm. So next is rush nail. It is a centromedullary nail. It has a hook end and a beveled tip. So one end of the nail is hook shaped and here you can see the one end is hook shaped and it has got a cylindrical shaft. It has got a rounded shaft and a beveled tip. So this beveled tip help for easy migration of the nail inside the medullary cavity and the hook shaped end will prevent the migration of the nail inside the medullary cavity and help for the extraction of the nail. So the principle of the nail is three point fixation and the uses are used for fracture fibula, fracture both bone forearm. And the main disadvantages of the nail are there is no rotational stability and there is no locking mechanism. And the variable sizes are available from 2 to 4 mm diameter in variation of 0.5 mm of various length. So next is titanium elastic nail system or TENS. It is a straight nail, slightly curved and flattened at one end. This is mainly used for long bone fractures in pediatric age group. It is a nail which is based on three point fixation. And the nail should occupy 30 to 40 percent of medullary cavity. And the diameter of nail is calculated based on Flint formula, which is width of narrowest point of the medullary cavity into 0.4. The commonly available sizes of the nail are 2 to 4.5 millimeter diameter and various length of the nail are available. Next is Kunstner clover leaf nail. This nail is a centromedullary nail which has two blunt ends with eye. This blunt end reduces chance of cortex penetration and it has got a hollow shaft which allows bone marrow continuity and help for guide wire to pass. 
and it has got a clover leaf cross section it will provide some rotational stability and it is mainly used for the fixation of shaft of femur fractures and you can see the eye which is helpful for the extraction of the nail and the principle is three point fixation the two ends in metaphysis and one at isthmus that is a three point fixation and this longitudinal slot which will lie anterolaterally and allows bend along the tensile surface of the bone and that is the clover leaf cross section and the longitudinal metal bar which is opposite to the slot accommodate the body weight along the compressible surface of the bone so determination of length of the nail by measuring from tip of greater trochanter to upper pole of patella and the method of nail insertion either by a retrograde entry or anterograde entry from piriformis fossa the disadvantage of the nail is it do not provide any rotation stability and there is no locking mechanism. The complication of K nail is splintering of cortex, proximal or distal migration of nail, stucking of nail, nail bending and breakage, knee stiffness. Commonly available sizes are 6 to 15 millimeter diameter in variation of 1 millimeter and various lengths are available. Next is interlocking nail for tibia. So interlocking nail for tibia, the proximal end you can see there is a dynamic hole and a static hole and the distal end there are anterior posterior and medial lateral holes for screw insertion. There is a bend 5 cm away from the proximal end which is known as Herzog's bend which is about 10 degree and the range of diameter is from 7 to 12 mm the insertion is about 1.5 cm distal to knee joint line in the line of medial half of tibial tuberosity. So the mode of use are it can act as a load sharing implant or a load bearing implant. If only dynamic balls are applied it can act as a load sharing implant useful in short oblique fractures. If only static balls are applied it can as a load bearing implant useful in comminated fractures. So that's all for today. Thank you.